Hello everyone. Wow, it's been quite a while. I've like uh, made a video like that. So, oh my god, like I've been so so busy. You know, uh, I just want to share my experience so far with the Ignati Wukasevich program, the scholarship program. So there are many little developments which are now happening as you can see you can see that my background is quite like different that's because i'm in another city for the second semester of the program which has never happened before yes that's never happened before because wherever your language course is the city you're going to stay there till you finish the program but this year it has changed many things have also changed now you would you you might uh, even be surprised that there's nothing like um Nava Ignati Ukasevich scholarship program because it has been incorporated into the Stefan Banach program. Actually the Stenaf, the Stefan Banach has been in existence but it was just for some selected countries in the um this upper part of the world like Europe and it has the Kazakhstan, all those houses like that. Yeah, it seems it's, it's Asia, the continent, all those ones like that. Okay, you understand what I mean? Like the the countries like of 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 Africa. <laughs> yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> Please don't mind me. So now everything has been incorporated into one another, and it has it, the program. It's now like this huge. So many countries are also be as also be added like um, Ghana and other countries in Africa have also be incorporated into the program. So now, what you should be looking out to is the Stefan Banach Scholarship Program, not the Ignati Wukasevich. So like we are basically like the last set. <laughs> that feels so weird. Well, anyway, yeah. Oh, we are making the record like this is like the last day. Yes. So um let me just update you all. If you're someone who is anticipating the program, let me just update you on um, on many things which has been going on in the program. Yes, it's a very wonderful experience here in, in Poland with the language school and all. You know, at first uh, at first, I was like scared because Polish language is like the third technical language, like very complex language for English speakers. Yes, and when I got into the program, <laughs> I knew it was complex. Don't be surprised. Let me tell you, morning, the classified morning as like masculine, the night is like feminine, a child is like neutral. So, <laughs> It's just like that. Don't be surprised. If you want to say like he's a tall boy, it might have like different forms. If you want to say it's a tall girl, the tall, the spelling is going to be different. The pronunciation is going to be the different for that of a boy, of a girl, and for something that's actually neutral. So don't worry. <laughs> that's just by the way for those coming into the program. So don't be scared. It's very nice, very funny, and um it um, makes you think and that th it makes you think out of the ordinary yes so let me start from the first semester program actually i was um, taken to i was all allocated to the university of Wuj. at first when i called people like the senior scholars and how i was just I was like okay i was the Wuj and everything the rest of them were like oh, oh Wuj. Which is like an is like an ancient city. It's like uh, this is oh they are known for artwork and all, but it's not like a city. It's just like a place that is that is kind of ancient and old. But let me tell you, those people I can tell them that they are wrong. <laughs> came to whoosh you know at first i came i entered into the hostel i'm going to post a video like the tour all around the movement to the major train station that is whoosh baby shina the one at the like the main major train station oh my name 
but I just made something like a small video in case if you're someone coming to Bush so that you familiarize yourself with the environment. So if you're someone and they've told you that Wuj is like a place that oh, Wuj is cool though, very cool, like the hostel, the hostels, Pierre like I mean, beautiful, very nice. They have leaves. Yeah, in Katowice, they don't have leaves. You are claiming staircase. <laughs> and you were like telling me, Katowice is like a city. It's a city. You are coming to a city. Oh, my people, don't worry. I will upload the video of the so called city. Then you me compare it with the villagers' wood that they are saying. <laughs> I believe we've all watched that of the museum in Wush. Actually, we visited like two museums. I'm still going to upload the second one. So, in case, if you just want to look at how Wush and how Wush is a very lovely city. Yes, yes. And the teachers in the school, oh my god, they were just wonderful. They were, although the classes were quite technical, they, they taught us about syllabus. <laughs> Actually, like the school is like if you're in Nigeria, imagine imagine if you are going to Uhai, like University of Bado. That's the way the school is. But it's actually nice because it's the prepared us towards the second semester. Because the second semester I'm having now. Imagine now we are doing like Telovnik, of which we have done that in in Wush. Yeah. So Wush they like manage our time in the University of Wush. The school tried, they manage our time and they taught us the pro the necessary courses which we are supposed to know in the program and uh, we had like consultation like extra classes but it was actually nice and fun although at first it might feel like this is very stressful but my dear it's it is worth it it's actually worth it like when you're even speaking the polish yourself now when i'm speaking english polish is entering it <laughs> but it's actually nice so like the major thing is just that there are like lot of changes in the program like for example the language course which okay some people don't really understand the program like they will say is it that because at first when you are filling your application you choose a university you choose a course then you write a research proposal in line with the scholarship program you understand me so many people just ask that okay do, when i come do i just go to my university or something like that no you don't go to your university you know that the aim of the program is to pro um, promote polish culture yes so it is mandatory that you go through three months at least three months of language preparatory course so the thing is that you are going to be dis distributed into different schools we have um the school of polish language for foreign for foreigners in Wush, in the University of Wush, that is the school which I was allocated to. We have that of um, University of Silesia in Katowice here, which I am having my second semester here, which is not supposed to be. But I don't know, I don't know what happened. Then we have um, the university in Sidle. Is it Sidle? Yeah, Sidle. I do not pronounce that <laughs> city very well. Please pardon me. Okay, and um, we have that in Krakow, yeah, we have in Krakow, yeah, Krakow, yeah, those are the major cities in which we have the language school. So, the major, the recipients of the program will be distributed to separate language school in which you are supposed to, like, go through three months Polish language preparatory course, and you're going to pass the program, and will be issued um a certificate at the completion of the program if you follow me on linkedin you see that like i've like uploaded my own certificates <laughs> please don't mind me so it's actually a very nice one so that you, you know wherever you have your environment matters at least now i can say yakshimash yakshion ashibara you get all those kind of accent um what is your name how are you yakshion milewa not how was your night yeah, you can say I want to buy something. Yes, also uncle povash tablita and the by God. Okay, I can say I want I want to read. I want to read also chinta Yeah, it's kind of it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. So 
it's a very nice language though technical complex but it makes you to think wildly you get so normally the language course is mandatory three months at least you do the first semester so the thing is that majority of the people after doing the three months you are going to see universities that have open application for their for masters but for example myself now i intend studying agri-food economics and trade in Poznan University of Life Sciences. Then is that they don't really have my course like that, like Agri Economics. They don't really have that kind of course here. So uh, that course too is like um, you can see that it's not like straightforward. I did Agri Economics. It's not like it's like just two things joined together. It's still like that, but it's kind of sim similar. That's the major course. So the course is starting like um, the program is starting in October. That's why I decided to wait for the second semester. But if you are somebody in, in which you've checked the universities and your applications are open, are open, apply for masters. And if you know that okay, you want to like study Polish for second semester, it's not a big deal. It's a free word. You are still going to be collecting your stipend. That is the uh, one thousand seven PLM before you start collecting your one five when you start your masters. So. Um, if you want to gain the full experience, it's it's also good. It's there, yeah. So that's the major thing. So doing the set now, and then I learned something like the previous recipient of the of the scholarship. It seems like the second set had like the sponsored their yeah, flight ticket and all. For our own set, we paid our visa money. In fact, that visa story. <laughs> Is it a testimony like we like this? They gave us like two congratulations. People said two congratulations when our name came out and when we received our visa because our visa was like war, war on it. <laughs> we got rejected and we have to like do the happy. Oh, it's another story for another one. I'm doing visa video for visa application. <laughs> you get so um, we sponsored that aspect and the ticket fee too. We sponsor this money for the flight yeah. we sponsor it but don't worry it's all well and good immediately you get there and you start getting your money you are going to forget about the troubles <laughs> yeah 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 yes so now after the conclusion of the first semester we are told to like mail our school that okay this is the reason why we are waiting for the second semester and then we also mail NABA and we told them that this is the reason why we are waiting for the second semester. So they approved it and they processed it. They were like every one of us. So every one of us, those that were posted to Krakow, um, sit here, and um, those of us in Rouge, um, every one of us like that, that are waiting for second semester, we were all told to come to Katowice, which is the first of its kind. Normally, people stay in the language school and finish the whole one year there. But this is quite different. Yeah, it was not easy coming here, like from Wuj, Wuj is like at the center of Poland and Katowice is like at the south, like south, um, this is west, this is east, like southeast of Poland, yeah, like southeast of Poland, like um, Stokilemetrov to, sorry, 100 kilometers to Krakow. <laughs> so we are saying Polish again, so that's, that's it. So, hmm, that's like basically the changes I would just like every one of us to put in mind. So, if you are looking towards Ignacy Ukasevich, anyway, I don't know how they will put the call for application. The call for application is not yet out. I think because of the change, because of the incorporation into Stefan Banach, I think like a lot of changes are going on. So, and I believe it's for a better purpose. Like, the scholarship is now open to many programs, like it's in um, humanities, you guys. And all like that's kind of the like stem strict strict restriction you got so like that so be looking forward to like Stefan Vanach and I'm going to drop the website to the Poland website you can always go there go just go through any this thing that is going on there to get any information that is going on and uh, if you are someone looking up to the application get your transcript ready. No, no, no more application stuff. Get your um, research proposal, like it's like the major thing. 
been working on your research proposal, read articles, have um, done a video on how to write proposal, how to like write topic and all. And in the process of driving your topic, my dear, you have your research problem and your objectives and the impact in which your study will make anticipated impact. The scholar has also spoken about that. You can watch it in the previous video which I have posted. So that that should like help a lot. So I wish you all the best. So please pardon me that I've not really been active like that. Yeah, things have been really busy. You get like had a very rough trans transit from Wush to Katowice. I missed my train. The train got stopped at the road. I had a lot of luggages. Oh my god, it's a story for another day. Thank God. <laughs> it's a story. And do you know what's caused this? Oh no, the story for another day. <laughs> so thank you very much. So I just want everyone to be aware of these changes and you know along the line. So you bear it in mind. Okay, this is what this person experience is different from what the other said. You know, it seems to, um maybe because of the coronavirus and everything. And one thing I also got got to discover is that the school at um Sid Hair, they had like face to face classes. I, I they they were not quite as many as we. We here, yeah, like we we had like nine Nigerians, um, four Ethiopians in my school in Wuj. You get, so it was online classes that we were, we were having, and we are very lucky. The school has Wi-Fi. Online classes is not a problem. It's not challenging. You get, just show your face on the video and you enjoy. They have wonderful people. If you don't pass your test, you do another one. <laughs> And that's one like a cultural shock to me <laughs> but it's quite good it's quite good like it gives you it gives you like hope that yes i have a second chance <laughs> please don't mind me let me end this video right so that's like the major changes i'll just like everyone i just started to like make everyone aware of the changes so some schools so don't be surprised when you get there and you're doing like face to face but it was not like for long period of time, like hours, there was just for like three hours. So I had, but hours we were like, hmm? from one to four, sometimes from eight thirty to twelve. But there are always tea breaks, breaks in between. You get, it's not like you do it straight forward. But don't worry, you are good. Yeah, <laughs> I got first. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Thank you very much and just keep supporting me yeah so my uh i'll just be happy if everyone is doing quite fine get the required knowledge get yeah yeah that's like the major thing so thank you very much um i wish you all the best